Hi guys, it's me. So I was asked to do a few different things on the video, so I figured now would be the time to actually do it while I'm waiting for my grandma to vote. Go and vote today if you didn't vote already. Unfortunately, I can't. Um, I had to do a trip to Illinois, so I didn't get to vote this time, but I did vote for the presidential election, of course. But anyway, I don't like to get into like the presidential and election stuff and whatnot, but um, someone kind of asked me about more of my health issues to kind of explain to them, and um, so basically, I'm just going to kind of give you a rundown what they mean. Okay, so for, let's just go one in order that I know. I'm probably going to end up missing one, so bear with me. I was going to use my laptop for you guys, and I was going to show you for word and explain so i'm going off the top of my head there is basically i had cholesterol high cholesterol since i was a baby it was that long c word it was like cholesterol something anyway i can't pronounce it <laughs> but um it was and it is in the presentation uh that basically that's all it means i have high cholesterol had it since birth um, autoimmune hepatitis, that's my body's just attacking my liver essentially, um, and what's going to happen because of that, it basically affects me in the sense as I'm tired all the time, like, some days I cannot get out of bed, and that's like not even exaggerating, um, it can be really hard for me, honestly, me mentally and physically, and, but I'm okay, I push through it all the time, my dog helps me a lot through that, well dogs now, <laughs> anyway, so another thing with that is it's going to turn my liver into fatty liver which it's already starting to turn into that fatty liver and after it goes to fatty liver unfortunately it's going to go to non-alcoholic cirrhosis of my liver and eventually i will be going into liver failure um, but i'm not even um thinking negatively about that um, but a fact that you guys don't know is my grandpa actually did die of cryptogenic liver failure um, but I'm not necessarily thinking that that's it. I'm not thinking the worst. Let's put it that way. I'm very positive because right now I'm fine and that's what I'm thinking about. I'm not going to think about stuff I can't control. So, and that's how I kind of look at my medical issues as well. So ADHD, I'm a scatterbrain. I mean, there's no other way to kind of describe it. Like I'm random. <laughs> uh, so my mitral valve prolapse, essentially my valve in my heart is lazy, and it's, of course, the mitral valve, which is why it's called a mitral valve prolapse, and it doesn't close all the way. So, like, the bad blood, the dirty blood gets in with the clean blood is what it really does. That doesn't, I don't really have any heart palpitations or anything like that um, pertaining to that. And then I got sleep apnea. Um, but I have what's called constructive sleep apnea, which is where, like, it's actually my throat that actually like barricades and um <coughs> so and like at night it'll my throat collapses and it I I have the last time I was tested I stopped breathing seven times in an hour and the average person is like between one and six one and five I can't remember the exact number so I'm not too bad with the sleep apnea actually so, and then I have constructive airway disease, which essentially is a lot like asthma from what I understand. Um, I, it, that one really affects me and my asthma they, because they coincide together. Like, they're, they just are horrible together. So, like, I, I after every, no matter what I suck, I, if I suck at anything in life, it's breathing. <laughs> if you can't tell, because of sleep apnea, constructive airway disease, and asthma. <laughs> anyway, and then if you look at my face... Like, if you see this white dot right here, I have several more of those uh, random parts on my body. Um, so, what's going on there is they were actually moles. And, basically, my body is attacking my moles. It's called halo moles. And, it's my body's attacking my mole like it's an infection. It shouldn't be there. So, I'll have that for life. It's not going to really stop. But, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect me in any way. So, I really don't care. And, I think it's kind of cute anyway. Especially when I get nice and tan. I got a little cute white mark. Anyway. 
So, you guys really know what Turner Syndrome is. I don't really need to go into detail about that. The only thing with that I really, really, really want to stress to everybody is only girls can have it. And on top of that, I want to stress that to take really good care of yourself if you do have Turner Syndrome. And another thing I guess I want to add as well with that is to remember that you guys are amazing. We have and I feel like that's an amazing diagnosis. Some people would like freak out, you know, and I don't blame them, you know, your new mom or, you know, you never had a sick kid and then you hear that word and you're just kind of like, well, what the heck is that, you know? But I think that is a blessing. That obviously affects me because I have a lot of medical issues. I get sick a lot. If you want to know how it affects me, as you guys know, I mean, I've been pretty open to you about my turn. causes severe pain diarrhea um and sometimes like when i gotta go to the bathroom i really gotta go um and it is not no game <laughs> no game in my bowel system <laughs> anyway um there's that health issue i have i'm trying to think what i didn't cover yet that i have that i know i have i have mild scoliosis um mine isn't really severe at all so that doesn't really affect me at all. I don't have to wear like the back braces. I don't have to do any of that. Um, another thing I'm trying to think of, I'm, I mean, I have, I don't know, I have a vitamin D deficiency, which basically I just have to go out in the sun more, drink vitamin D, that good stuff. Um, I'm anemic. I don't even have hepatitis either, but there's that, and um, I'm trying to think of what else I have on top of my head. I have so many, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Health issues. Um, but somebody really wanted me to explain something else. Um, but this video is actually going to be a two on in a one video. My grandma's about to be coming in the car, so she's about to be on the video. So you guys have never met my grandma. You're about to meet my grams. She loves <laughs> I can't me. Can't believe what happened. What happened? Uh, I screwed up twice on my ballot. How? Well, the first one. <laughs> so I had to go in three times. <laughs> the first one. I answered a question wrong. It, uh -huh. The way it was worded, it said, Shall Kendall County oppose the mileage tax yeah. for per mile? And, I do. I oppose that. And I thought, I thought the answer was, I put no, and I meant it because I didn't read shall it oppose. I didn't read the word oppose. <laughs> oh. So that spoiled that bell. I said, No, I don't want. It. You know, <laughs> so I spoiled the ballot. So I went back the second time, and I was in a hurry because I thought, oh, I'm going to hurry up and get Because I had <laughs> the whole thing, because that one I screwed up was the, the, one of the last things you vote on. Oh, no. And it was two sides. Yeah. So I had to go through and remark all the other things. Oh, no. Well, yeah. so I was in a hurry, so when it was, I was voting on the governor things, and I went and mo marked both of them. <laughs> Because I was, I was thinking I was going to the next, <laughs> next thing to vote on. <laughs> so this is why I love and my the grandma. Said, I was so embarrassed. And the lady sits there and says, "This is the first time this has ever happened." <laughs> I says, "Yeah." <laughs> if you didn't know it, it's election day. <laughs> and I thought, "Oh my gosh!" I said, "Spoil the ballot, Grandma. You're going to be on Facebook." No. Uh, you didn't do that, really. <laughs> take it off. No, really, take it off. I don't want... I was going to introduce him and do the questions. I was going to have a question you, Grandma. <laughs> Not about voting. No, about, like, being a grandmother with somebody with Turner. Oh, 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 that thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were taping this voting business. <laughs> you know, I... <laughs> grandma, I love you. Guys, this is oh my, my grandma. God. This is why I love my grandma. <laughs> Boy, that guy parked real close behind me. He really did. He was rude. So, Grandma. Yes, ma'am. I want everybody to kind of relate to everything I say. As you guys, if you, as you know, in my book, 
and whatnot. And so what do you have to say was like the, like when you first found out that I had Turner syndrome and stuff, what was your reaction? Well, my first reaction was I wasn't real familiar with what it was. Yeah. You know, so by going through things with you and your mom for each thing that went on, then I was, you know, learn more about it because you had the symptoms, you know. And, yeah. And that. So it was just something that I'd never heard of before. Right. And like, what was, what would you have to say is one thing that was like the biggest thing you learned out of it? The biggest thing I learned out yeah. of Yeah. Probably how it affects um, everything in your body. Um, how it affects all the organs. You know, it, it's not just the physical, you know, it's, it's the physical stuff. And, um, and that it, it's so broad because it affects that plus even in some ways the personalities and things so yeah like our non-learning verbal disabilities yeah right yeah right i love my grandma guys um so another thing i have what would probably be like the scariest i guess thing that you have encountered i guess with the whole my whole story and like what you had to go through like with it like watching wise and stuff like that i don't know if I don't know if you really really say scary um just concern and and making sure that you have to be aware of of your of your health to keep on it all the time yeah you know so when something um comes up so fast and so quickly you know then that gets a little scary and then plus you know on top of it always concerns me a little bit because I know you also have the heart valve problem too. Yeah, and then my anxiety doesn't help either. Right. <laughs> you know, and so, um, you know, that, you know, is something that you really have to learn to deal yeah. with. Yeah. What would you say that, like, I mean, you've gone through a lot with me, like with my medical and stuff. What would you have to tell them a funny story? What funny stories do you have out of all that? <laughs> Most of them are all funny because they're ridiculous. <laughs> well, you would always <coughs> panic and get hysterical before you'd even get into the office half the time. And when you were, a, even when you were a toddler, you'd see, like, say, a nurse or a doctor in a scrub, and you would just immediately panic and, you know, I don't want to go in there, you know, and get all upset. I can remember one time you were going to the dentist and we didn't even get into the office and you were crying and having a fit, <laughs> you know, and all he did was look at your teeth. They didn't even do anything to you, <laughs> you know, so everything is uh, drama <laughs> and, uh, and then, you know, and then other than, you know, the procedures and stuff, I mean, you always get worked up ahead of time about the procedures and stuff, so. You know, I uh, spend a lot of time trying to calm you down when I'm there. <laughs> As I said, guys, my anxiety with, like, medical procedures, surgeries, um, everything like that is, like, super high. Um, like, as you as she, you just heard her say, like, about how, how would you tell them how you calm me down the best? Like, what do you, what do you do? Well, I just say, Kate, it'll be all right. Calm down. It's, you know, they're not even here yet. You don't know what's going to happen. I said... You know, and, and then sometimes I just have to say, stop. <laughs> you know, you're, you're fine. You're going to be okay. <laughs> and that, and, uh, yeah, as you've come along now, you've gotten a lot better than what you used to be. You know, <laughs> you still get a little worked up in that. And, and other than that, I think, uh, other than the health issues, uh, a funny thing with your personality is that, I'll always remember is when you come to my office and when the, the ladies always enjoyed you girls coming to visit me and and you walk back to the ladies and they were sitting there wanting you know expecting to say hi to you and you scolded them and told them you need to get to work you work for my grandma you know so that's probably the funniest thing you know outside of the 
medical stuff. I'm definitely not a shy person, what can I say? <laughs> so, <coughs> you know, and you were one that put grandpa in, you know, you, you weren't afraid to tell grandpa what you thought and you know and I think that melted grandpa's heart so that's why you and grandpa got so close um, you know because you would I don't I guess you might call it sassing I don't even <laughs> sass him back or if he said something to you you would just stand right up and say what you thought you know <laughs> but he liked that in you so um, I definitely am not shy <laughs> yeah, right so, very outspoken Yes, and that will never change, ever. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I got a little phone call there for a second. Um, I'm trying to think of other questions. What would you suggest, you know, for new Turner parents, God, like, grandparents, you know? Because you got a little bit of a different stand being, like, a grandparent with it because you don't only have to, like, figure it out for, like, the grandkid, but, like, you know, like, your, for mom, you know, she's your daughter and stuff. What would be your biggest advice that you could give? Well, just just to try and um, educate yourself on, on what the terms are and that each one is an individual and that all of, all of the Turner Syndrome girls are it's the same. They're very similar, but um, you just have to have patience and take one day at a time and, and work with that child. Yeah, apparently you just have to bribe me with food. <laughs> bribe you with food? Yeah. My grandma, every time I go through like a operation procedure, I, I like to look forward to the food after. I, everybody who knows me knows I love food. That will never change in my heart. I, I promise you that. And... <laughs> So my grandma will like do this awesome thing where like we'll make a, a deal if I behave myself. And that sounds really ridiculous, you know, I'm t 23, I shouldn't need a bribing of food. But I mean, at least it's not candy, that makes me feel a little better, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, so like she'll, she'll take me out to eat and I'll get what I want. And like, I don't know if you guys are from Chicago, but Portillo's is like the best food there. And my grandma, after my liver biopsy, got me nice Pertillo's Italian sausage. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other things. Do you have any other kind of like funny stories that I may not remember? Not off the top of my head. Yeah, other than the time when your sister ran away from home. And, <laughs> and you tattled on her and, and you made the... Uh, you were so upset because you wanted to go with her. <laughs> and it was like 30 degrees below zero and she had no coat on and and I forget she didn't have boots on I don't know what she had on her she feet. had on like nothing she only had PJs you know and um, <coughs> that that's one one event <laughs> that will be unforgettable <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't mention about like how I was I told you if I die during that operation that I just write on my Facebook, I'm chilling with Jesus. Oh. And time stamp it. And see, I don't, I, it didn't stick with me then. <laughs> yeah, I was a little bit ridiculous. I had my uh, gallbladder removed, and my grandma came, of course. And uh, I got over dramatic, and I knew stuff I shouldn't because I, I'm in the medical field myself. As some of you guys know, I take care of people with disabilities. So, well, I knew of a situation that happened with my particular surgeon and of course you're not gonna like say that you're not allowed to say that anyway and so I told my grandma I was freaking out I was crying and I was in hysterics you can ask her she's right here anyway and I was like grandma if I die during this operation just write on my Facebook I'm chilling with Jesus and just time stamp it for me I was so serious but I woke up thank God yeah, my grandma's driving. I'm not driving. I don't think anybody... Did anyone mention driving? No. Oh, Susan, I'm not... No, it's not me driving. It's no steering wheel. I'll show you guys. Just about... We're, we're going. I promise. How do I flip it? There you go. See? I'm not driving. I promise. I'm being safe. I'm trying to think of any other questions I have that would help other people. Um, 
No, I'm not in the UK. We are in the United States. I'm actually in Illinois right now. Um, <coughs> but, yeah, I'm in Illinois, and then I'm going home for a week, coming back for two weeks. So, there's that. But, yeah, I stay with my grandma when I come out here with the doggos. I'm trying to think. Do you have any other just info you want to add there, like, about what you've gone through because of it or anything to help out anybody? I can't think anything. I mean, it, it's just sometimes a little harder because farther away, you know. Yeah. But, um, I, I... My grandma literally is the best. Like, she literally drops everything and will come out if I have a medical issue happen. And she'll be there, like, the next day. And that's amazing. And, like, yeah. It is harder because I'm for, I'm eight out, eight and a half hours away, but yes. But I'm gonna end this here because we're almost at Wally World or Walmart. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps like some grandparents so you guys can see a little bit of similarities. And I hope with my medical issues that I listed as well before that that has really helped you guys. Um, understand more if and again if you want me to make a video about anything else please um 